lunchtime when this tranquil cottage, 24 miles from the nearest town of Kilnsley, was discovered to contain the aftermath of a tragic human massacre. Enjoying yourself? It's certainly engaging. John can be a lot to take. So, um, were you two ever, um... <laughs> oh, we've never been together. Are you and Julia? No. No, I'm not her type, if you know what I mean. But I am married. So you staying on base? Wife's barracks near the end of runway 27. I have my own room. Next to the other girls. Hell of a view from down there, watching all the bombers take off. And coming in on fire. Yeah, I hear you guys have been losing a lot of aircraft lately. Yes, it's sad. But it's war. I think I should go. Maybe God just ain't meant for us to have a family yet. But we deserve a child. I know, sweetie. I know. What is it? Oh, I heard something. Well, maybe it's the stock radiating itself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the wait. <laughs> Come on in. Right then, Mr. Davis. How are we doing today? Not bad. A little nervous. Oh, don't worry about anything, Stefan. We're all here to help. However, before we continue, are we waiting on your father today? Um, he's not coming today, I'm afraid. He's stuck in work. It was nice of him to let me know. Well, why don't we try and see if we can carry on in the meantime? You know, with mentality like that, it is quite beyond me why you would want to save this worthless planet. I mean, Jesus. Humans are stupid. We laid it all out for them, and they still chose complete annihilation. One could almost pity them. Ariel, show her out. Don't bother. And by the way, after the vote tomorrow, I want you gone within the hour. You and your host of cloney cronies. I don't want to waste any time on whip rounds and farewell speeches. After all, I've got the apocalypse to start. <laughs> 